Good morning, amigos. How are you, friends? Uh, we wake up another day in Arizona. It's a completely mess everywhere, but we're starving. So I'm gonna make some breakfast and we'll catch you around. <laughs> And there you have it, morning tacos. Mm, tacos, wow, these look good. Sorry, Pablo, these are for you. Buen provecho. Buen provecho. I want you to have a bite. <laughs> I was wondering. <laughs> mm. Our friends from the other day have left, and we have also left that spot. Yep. Yesterday, we filled up with water. We finally ran out. Yeah. That was... In Ehrenberg that we fill up. Yeah, so we filled up in Ehrenberg on our way out this way, and we haven't... I mean, we used, what, 100 gallons over like 12 days? Mm-hmm. Roughly 12 days, 100 gallons. So we filled up yesterday at the state park, we are actually gonna head in today and utilize their showers, which are very nice. Seven dollars a day pass. You can hike around and they have showers. And that's what we're gonna do today. Shower day. So in the desert where water resources are extremely limited, you have to get very creative on how and where you shower. So that's the mission today. Let's go for it. We would like to take a moment and say thank you to our new supporters, Jenna and Jonathan. Thank you. And all of you, your kindness is overwhelmingly awesome. You make this happen. Hey friends, guess what we just did? Two things actually. I'm gonna give you a second to comment down below. What do you think we just did? Do you think they know? The story of our lives. Okay, have you commented? You haven't, you have, okay, cool. Move that bus, move that bus. We were told by Apache Junction, uh, what were they even? Codes, building codes, team codes and whatever. Um, After taking pictures of our bus. Yeah, we, we, we saw them, or I heard them pull in because we had the windows uh, down here on the bus. They pulled in and I noticed that they started taking pictures of the bus. So I kind of peeped my head out the window a little bit. And I run all the way to the back because I was nervous. <laughs> she was super nervous. Um, and they said, you have to get this out of here. That's all they said. 
Mind you, we were technically on BLM land with no no parking or no no trespassing or no any other indicating signs. Um, so we were not doing anything wrong, but we, we, because we didn't want to create any we, drama. we don't yeah we don't we don't like to create issues. So we just say okay and chase. I'm gonna give this to you. Chase, find a new spot to park. Are you ready to see where we are parking now? So this comes with a message. Bumpy roads? Is that your message? No, <laughs> this comes with a message. Um, when you find places to park or camp, whether it's free or paid, respect the land. Leave no garbage behind. So we are- Leave it be better than when you got here. Yeah. Or there. So I'm gonna show you the spot, but then we've also got some cleaning up to do because whoever, or maybe a couple of people who found this beautiful, beautiful spot, um, they didn't respect it. With that being said, if you clean around where you are stopping or parking or camping, whatever, make sure to take a picture or record it, whatever, and use hashtag Dean's Cleanup Crew. So we are inspired by Dean, the schoolie, um, to, to really look for even the smallest little bits of trash that may be on trails, in parks, campgrounds, in parking lots and we find, find ourselves yeah. cleaning it all the time. So um, it, it's one small step that we can all take to improve um, our surroundings and everything. Oh, Pablo's. So this is the question. Are you part of Dean's clean up, clean up crew? <laughs> First at all, first step. Let's do it. All right. Let's start over here. Even the small pieces. I don't know how anyone can drink this many sodas. Okay, let's look over here and see if there's any. All right, I think we're good around here. Oh, here's a little piece, a little piece of crap. Gogurts. Like, look at this place that we're parking at. It's absolutely beautiful. But all that is around us is just trash. That's that, completely unacceptable. That full bag is just from trash around us. We have two huge bags full of trash. I've already loaded the one up in the Jeep. That way we can take it to a facility. Try to clean up around you. That's all I ask for. Don't bring things into the wilderness or out into the wild that you're not ready or willing to bring back. Please. Stop destroying these beautiful places. Look at this place. Don't destroy it. What are you doing, Chase? Doing some home maintenance, cleaning up the solar panels. Cleaning time with this view around us. And here we have it. You know when someone says like a man enjoys their land or something like that? This is Chase right now. Loving life. Look at that view.
Let me see your face of happiness. Is that you happy? I'm happy. <laughs>